how many uh, creationists do we have in the room? Probably none. I think we're all Darwinians. And yet, many Darwinians are anxious, uh, a little uneasy, would like to see some limits on just how far the Darwinism goes. Uh, it's all right, you know, spider webs, sure, they are products of evolution. The World Wide Web, I'm not so sure. Uh, beaver dams, yes, Hoover Dam, no. Uh, well, what do they think it is that prevents the products of human ingenuity from being themselves fruits of the tree of life, and hence, in some sense, obeying evolutionary rules? Uh, and yet, people are interestingly resistant to the idea of applying evolutionary thinking to thinking, to our thinking. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about that, keeping in mind that we have a lot on the program here. So you're out in the woods or you're out in the pasture and you see this ant crawling up this blade of grass. It climbs up to the top and it falls and it climbs and it falls and it climbs, trying to stay at the very top of the blade of grass. And you think, what is this ant doing? What is this in aid of? What, what goals is this ant trying to achieve by climbing this blade of grass? What's in it for the ant? And the answer is nothing. There's nothing in it for the ant. Well then, why is it doing this? Is it just a fluke? Yeah, it's uh, just a fluke. <laughs> it's a lancet fluke, it's a little brain worm, it's a parasitic brain worm that has to get into the stomach of a sheep or a cow in order to continue its life cycle. So salmon, you know, swim upstream to get to their spawning grounds and lancet flukes commandeer a passing ant, crawl into its brain, and drive it up a blade of grass like an all-terrain vehicle. So there's nothing in it for the ant. The ant's brain has been hijacked by a parasite that infects the brain, inducing suicidal behavior. Pretty scary. Well, does anything like that happen with human beings? This is all on behalf of a cause other than one's own genetic fitness, of course. Well, it may already have occurred to you that uh, Islam means surrender or submission of self-interest to the will of Allah. Mm. Well, it's ideas, not worms, that hijack our brains. Now, am I saying that a sizable minority of the world's population has had their brain hijacked by parasitic ideas? Oh, it's worse than that. Most people have. 